Good, whatever it is. I'm Antellus. Welcome back to Space Engineers. So, we got this thing inside the hangar, and it was a much tighter fit than I thought it would be. Um, I thought I counted that this would have been, the ship would be four tall, and my hangar was five tall. Yeah, I got my hangar right, but my ship is actually five tall. So, it's super, super tight, and it's really dark in here, too. So, we're going to fix a couple things. I think I'm going to leave the mouth of this entrance about the same size. But I'm going to expand it a little bit more inside than I had originally planned. Because I want to be able to suspend this thing from the ceiling. Because I think that would be pretty awesome. And it would let me work on the ship a little bit easier. It's Yeah, it's really dark in here. Not something I'd really noticed before, oddly enough. Even though it's very super apparent. So, let's work on expanding this out a little bit. Because I would like to make this all actually metal in here, not just cave walls. Even though the cave walls are honestly probably sort of really fine. So, let's dig out this a little ways. Oh yeah, this is going to use my hydrogen so fast. So, I want to be able to get my drill ship in here. I think it's a little tight for now, though, also. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. We're, we're cutting this really close on that. So, we're going to chop that out. And press 4 again to get out our drill. Just cut this on the stone real quick. So I think lights are actually going to be my first priority, rather than putting this thing up, like I'd originally planned, because it is super, super dark. And it's going to get darker too as the day continues on. That's probably why I didn't notice how dark this was, because as it gets later in the day... Oh, hi there. Um, the light levels in this thing will change. So let's see, five, eh, that's kind of workable. Let's move over here for a moment, eh, don't fit. Can't have any of this, so and we'll change our toolbar real quick. I don't want that, I'm going to need some lights, interior lights, okay. Cool. And we'll just slap some of these down. I like these to be... No. Why won't... There we go. There we go. Well, this is super finicky right now. Okay. So we got a light... It's not really going to do a whole ton. Ooh, dramatic music. Ugh. It always makes me think that there's something going on, and yet I feel like the sound isn't really tied to what's going on in the game. If we look at our turret, it's still rotating. If there's a spider, it will try to fix on it, even if it can't shoot it. Also, I detached all the batteries from back here because I was afraid it would shoot those, and... I'm not sure we're going to leave this many on the ship. Oh, yep, there is a spider somewhere. It's above us. Where? Okay, it's attacking something. Let's go find this thing. We. Not above us. Okay, where did it go? Is it already in our hangar? Because if so, I'm... Gonna need to move a few things. It's aiming up there, which really makes me think that it's above us. Oh! Oh no. That That's kind of a big problem. It's, it's in our ceiling. I'm not sure I can really get to that, so we're gonna... Careful, turret dude. Like, that's part of the reason why I want to make this ceiling all metal. Can I shoot its legs? It's not registering hits, though. Maybe 
Maybe it does have the music tied to it. I'm a little concerned about going in there with the spidery thing in the ceiling. So, let's figure this out really fast. On. Oh, please power on. Come on, there we go. And gears unlocked. Change review to forward again. And let's run inside. Because we got to get this thing out of the ceiling. Honestly. This is a bigger problem than I thought it was going to be. Like, I was worried that things would pop up from the ground. I thought there was something in the game to prevent what's happening from happening. From spiders jumping out of the ceiling and being instant death. But apparently not. And yes, I know where I've passed where it is. Where... It moved, though. That's the thing, it has to have moved. Because it should have already fallen out, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Woo! Hi there, spidery boy. Our ceiling is actually double thick. Whoa! I found it! Whoa! Okay. That's taken care of now. What did I hurt? All sorts of things, I'm sure. We actually really need construction commands, so thank you. I appreciate your sacrifice. And I damaged our solar panels. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on? That ship shouldn't be able to move. Duster's online. Okay. I don't know how this thing moved so much. Wow, we're completely sideways and really jammed in here. Power down again. Now that we've got... That was so weird. We're going to have to unjam that from there. And we'll have that fun little sound. That only sounds slightly like death. I think it's stopped now. Which is good. But it means that we're probably going to want to fly this out of this little cave tunnel -y thing. Before we continue... Mining above it. Man, that... Did not expect that to happen. Like, I guess I knew that was a possibility? But it... It never struck me as something that I really had to... Ooh. Hi, Sky. Didn't expect to see you today. Maybe what we'll do, actually, is we'll go fix that. Because maybe what it is is because we're so close to the edge of this. Goodbye, spidery thing, wherever you are. There's another one. Oh, there it is. Ha! That's too bad I didn't notice those earlier, because I could get components from them. I'm not going to chase them down on the hill, though. So there's another spider somewhere. And apparently a train in her life. That's unfortunate. So. Oh, there's a spider. Found him. As did my turret. Tee <laughs> hee. Okay. So let's run in here and grab some steel plates real quick. Um, you know, a few hundred of them. And five. And we'll rotate the mouse. And go on the roof. I thought that was falling for a second, but it was just me rising. So I'm thinking... Oh, that's unfortunate. I got one in the ceiling. 
Um, I'm thinking if I continue to wall this off a bit more. <sighs> I keep doing that. Like, I love being able to create a ship with any block, but at the same time, it's the worst sometimes. <sighs> I wish there was like a, a grid snap mode that wouldn't let me do things like that. And yes, I know it already does snap to the grid, but like continue the same base or the same ship that I've been trying to build for the past forever. Because it's rather common and like sometimes I'll be trying to build on my ship while flying around it. And I'll miss. Did that? Oh, because I went the wrong way. And end up creating a brand new grid entirely that's just a block. Or I guess it's unfinished block, but still. And it just falls. And I've wasted a single steel plate, which isn't much, I know. But I'd rather not do that. My resources are kind of limited, even if I have a few thousand steel plates. So... Yeah, there needs to be a mode for that. And then four... Actually, no, we don't need that. One. Pull up to our drill ship again. And let's continue mining this out. So, my plan is to open this up a bit to the side. And to put some landing gear in the ceiling. So... Oh wow, what just... Sometimes this thing bounces way too much. Oh! I didn't think I hit it that hard. Well, great. So, if I power off right now... No. I don't... Oh, no, 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 no. Very no. I don't have any gyroscopes, it seems. I lost all those in the accident. Man. So I guess that points out one of the flaws of this ship, like because I attach everything to that cargo container. Although I lost the cargo container and the connector in one. Anyway, since I lost the cargo container, there's like nothing to hold on to half the ship. Why won't this cargo container appear? That's unusual. That is really unusual. It's a medium cargo container, which is actually exactly what I want. So if we search for cargo. Oh, that's large. We want the medium again. Oh, because I'm on the large grid, not the small grid. Okay, so if we open up the menu again, which again highlights one of the issues that I have with some of their changes. Like, it's awesome to be able to rotate between things rather than have each block have its own spot in the bar, but it needs to be able to switch just a little bit more easily. I need interior plates. Oh, geez. I think I used all those, so I'm going to have to build some more. So, production... Assembling. Let's get a hundred interior plates, I'm thinking. If I can find them. There we go. And we'll disassemble a hundred steel plates for that. And did I power off my ship again? I probably powered off my assembler, though. On. Go. There we go. Get assembling those. Oh, and I do have enough iron for that. Awesome. So we'll hop out of the seat. And yes, I know I left a thruster online. But we'll get that fixed later. Man. Like, I wish there was some sort of a warning saying, Hey, you've damaged this block so much that it's about to break. Maybe it was the bouncing, though. I can see that happening. And we're going to put our welder and grinder in the first spot because I don't like going between spots. 
or between pages at least. So we need one display. That's not too bad. But hey, that's online. And gyroscopes. We'll need those too. So let's replace our... Oh, I actually want everything on that page, honestly. But we'll do that anyways. Gyroscopes. And then I'm thinking we'll place them on here this time. And maybe we'll just start with one. Like, the reason why this ship is so overpowered for most angles is because it's a mining ship. And who knows what angle you'll actually be coming out of a rock or whatever. Oh, I just ran out of hydrogen. Ah, keeps happening. I burned through this stuff so crazy fast. But, you know, I also don't have to fly this whole time. So, kind of my fault. I'd empty. Give me hydrogen. And spider death, apparently. So, like usual, I'm doing this as a one life playthrough as much as I can. Down there. So, yeah, I don't even have a med bay in this area. So if I die, I don't even have an option other than to restart. Eh. I think it's the side thrusters that I need. Those side thrusters. And... There we go. Seven. Oh, great. So I'm going to mount these on the bottom this time. Both out of necessity and because I think I could almost always use more side thrusters. So we'll put one there. One there. We're going to crisscross these. Place and build. So we need motors and metal grids. Wow, I was carrying a lot of stuff on me. And construction components now. Motors, metal grid, and construction components. I feel like this is actually how I spend the majority of my time off camera, is just fixing the mistakes like that that I've made. Motors, metal grids, construction components, that's the other one. I don't think I have any of those. So we'll build some more. And I'm not going to have enough iron for all of those, but I'll have enough to finish what I was doing. And then I'll go set it back to disassemble some steel plates, because it's nice to have a lot of steel plates, but I don't need a few thousand just sitting around. So, oh, I was already in an inventory. I'm used to being in the cockpit, in the flight seat, whatever it's called. We'll run over here real quick. There we go. Oh, do I have any forward-backwards thrusters? I don't think I... I have one! One survived, okay. That should be enough to let me at least flip this thing right side up. Hopefully. We'll find out. Uh, you. Nope. I, I apparently have to be able to lift off, and I don't have enough thrusters for that. I think two will be enough, though. If only barely. Oh. More spidery death is on its way. Let's bring this inside a bit more. Ah. Oh, great. That's exactly what we need is this thing to run out of fuel while I'm trying to repair it. And we'll power this down. Yeah, see, that got really, really dark. Ha. Ah shoots. 
I think I'm going to finish fixing the ship and kind of doing some of this expansion off camera. Because, ah, I'm a little frustrated how poorly this has gone. Just because, I mean, usually when I decide to bring you back, I'm like, yeah, I'm at a milestone. I'm going to do something really cool and it's obviously not how this has gone. So, we'll need interior plates actually because I think you need those for the connector. I'll find out in a moment. But anyways, I'm in Talos. I'll catch you later.